Hello guys, Bapanet here and in today's video I would like to talk to you about the things that I believe that Marble should implement, change or improve for this game. So let's get started. The first thing that I believe that Marble should implement for this game is that they should allow the players to choose which fighter they want to see on their main screen and profile screen regardless of who the team leader is because right now on my profile screen and my, on my main screen I basically see the character that I have set as my leader right now and I should be able to choose who do I want to see here on my main screen and my profile screen regardless of who my leader is so basically if I want to see Kula on my main screen I should be able to choose Kula for my main screen and then I would have Kula on my main screen right but if I wouldn't want Kula on my profile screen then I should be able to choose someone else like for example I could have Geese on my profile and Kula on my main screen a lot of other gacha games do it and have this feature so it's not something that it's hard to implement now the next thing that I believe they should implement is that they should allow the player to choose who they want to who they want to share as the supporters to their friends so i should be able to choose which fighter is my main supporter and i also should be able to choose which fighter which fighter do i want to share as my red element support as my yellow element support and so on i'm i know that you understand what I'm what am I talking about for sure because a lot of other gacha games do it as well for example in Fate Ground Order you can do it so once again nothing hard to implement now the next thing that I believe they should implement for this game is that when you go to the fighter section to the filter setting I should be able to choose I should be able to filter my fighters by the alphabetical order so there should be an option to sort from A to Z and the, there also should be an option to filter by type so basically if I would check to filter check check it to filter by type I would see all of the balance fighter at the top then under the balance fighters have my I would have my attack type and then under the attack type I would have my defense type let's say again nothing hard to implement would be a nice quality of life feature to have now another thing that they should add is when you go to the fighter section once again there should be a button which uh, which says show only owned fighters and if it, if it would be checked in like if it would if it would have a check mark then you would see only the fighters that you have right now in your possession just like now but if you would uncheck mark it then you would also be able to see the fighters that you don't have and the reason why it would be amazing is because then I wouldn't have to go to my codex every single time I want to see the new the, the fighters that I don't have and what they do and the new fighters I wouldn't have to go there all the time I could just do it from my fighter section instead you know so once again that would be a great quality of life feature to have the next thing that they should improve on, improve on in my opinion is that they should improve how, how free to play friendly this game is because right now this game it's not very free to play friendly it's mostly only friendly to the huge spenders because the packages that you buy in this game just give you amazing in-game value but if you are a free to play or a small spender then this game doesn't give too many rubies once you complete the story and also the banners are coming out way too fast so it should just improve the on the amount of the rubies it gives out for example the amount of rubies that we get from the first stage clear on the event stages should be increased when you go when you 
do this story you get 18 to 20 rubies per stage clear but for example for this collab event you only get 10 rubies per stage clear so it's awful now another thing they should add to improve the amount of free rubies they give out is they could there, there are daily missions right and you get 50 rubies from it so they could also add weekly missions and the weekly missions could give let's say 300 rubies or at least 150 rubies and it would be nice the last thing that they should improve when it comes to giving out rubies is that when you go to the daily check-in login day 4 I believe gives 50 rubies or 100 if it doesn't give 100 day 4 should give 100 rubies instead of 50 and day 7 should give 500 instead of 300 and those are all of the changes that I would make to make this game a little bit more free to play friendly when it comes to giving out free rubies because trust me I play a lot of other gacha games and gacha games that I play give way more free rubies to the player base now the next thing which I would like to talk about is the guild feature now the guild feature right now is basically pretty useless because the rewards are pretty bad and guild is only good for the guild buff so what I believe they should do is that they should implement guild war feature which should work exactly the same like the league pvp and then they should add guild war shop which would be way better than the exchange shop so this way at least the guild feature would be useful because right now it's not and also they should improve the exchange shop for the guild shop like make the prices lower or increase the value that we get of those items and also make it so if a person donates to the guild they should also get those guild coins just from the donating because right now there is exactly no reason to donate to the guild because the guild rewards from the ranking are not even that great either so this feature is just pretty bad right now and I hope it will get some sort of improvements and preferably they will just add guild war as well okay the next thing I believe they should add also for the guild feature I forgot about it is that when I go to the is for the guild masters okay because this is really annoying when I go to the member list and I go under the join, join request list there should be a check mark button check mark button next to the player's name and I should be able to check check mark the player or uncheck him let's say and there should be an option which says accept all of the selected applications or reject all of the selected applications and this way I wouldn't have to click one by one to refuse the applications like for accepting the applications is okay but refusing the applications takes forever so let me at least refuse multiple applications at the same time this would be a really good quality of life feature for the guild leaders and it would be really simple to implement okay next thing on the list is that when you go this is the wrong section when you go to the arena and regardless of if you do arena or league match the autoplay should be turned off always turned off the autoplay should be only on if I for example go to the arena and go into the battle and then during the battle if I would set the autoplay to be on then it should be on but the way it works right now is that for example you do PvE right and you have autoplay on 
and then you if you go to the arena even if you have turned the auto off on the PvE it will off it will still often have the autoplay on on the PvP like the autoplay should not be enabled on the PvP if I have been using it only for PvE the autoplay on PvP should only work if I set it on auto while doing the battle on the arena itself I'm sure that you guys understand what what did I want to say here and again very simple feature to implement and I hope to not even to implement a very simple feature to fix so I hope they will fix it soon because it's very annoying when you in enter the arena and you find out that you are on auto battle enabled and you can't even disable it when it starts you can't even disable it it doesn't allow you you, you just need to wait for it, the battle to start and then you can turn it off like what the heck it shouldn't work this way and the last thing on my list is that they should just stop being so stingy when it comes to this game like we have been having those surveys and coupon codes and the surveys would only give the rewards to let's say 30 lucky people and also the coupon rewards would only be available for one hour or three hours like don't do that please that marble don't do this thing I have never seen a gacha game which would be so stingy with giving out free rubies and we also never had a uh, good celebration rewards like if you guys remember the 1 million download celebration it was so shitty like the reward that we got from 1 million downloads was really bad and not only we didn't have any good celebration rewards we didn't have any coupon rewards for free for everyone and we also didn't have a free server rewards for everyone it's always limited it's always going only to the very small amount of the players and it's just it's just bad for the game like for example remember this survey that was for the Tekken collab and not only it was limited to 30 people why would you make it limited in the first place just you, they should have just given 3000 rubies to everyone and this way people would come and try this game out and they would play it like they would at least check it out because they would be like oh this game is going to have a Tekken collaboration and they are also going to give out 3000 rubies for free which means I could reroll and maybe get into this game but no Netmarble was like no we won't do it and it just it just really sucks because the collaborations are the best best way to get the new players to play your game but Netmarble instead of making use of that is just doing it the wrong way they are basically doing the opposite so I hope they will improve when it comes to giving out freebies basically improve on giving freebies to the players from the coupon codes, from the surveys, for the celebration, for example, the download celebration or collab celebration, and so forth. And once again, those are just mine personal suggestions. If you guys have any more suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments. But I believe that the suggestions that I have listed in this video are basically the most needed one and the most frequently requested ones so I hope that at least some of them will get added, changed or improved for this game because right now it's just not very free to play friendly and it just it just doesn't it's just not appealing for the new players like if I would if not for this game if this game wouldn't be because the reason why I play this game is mostly that it's 
it's mostly because of its combat, right? If not for this combat system, if I would see this game, then I definitely wouldn't play it. Because it just doesn't give out to the non-spenders. It gives out amazing rewards for the people that spend on this game, but for the people that don't, don't spend on this game or spend very little, it basically gives jack shit. And I'm sorry that I'm so harsh here, but it's just it's just true, guys. It's just true. Once again, I have been playing a lot of gacha games in my life, and this game is just very stingy. Just they need to improve as a publisher and as a development team and just get better they should also start communicating with the player base instead of hiding all the time they should improve the quality of the forums for this game like get some moderators I don't know interact with the player base on the discord servers like anything like right now they are just absent they are like whatever like they, they don't just they don't just care all they want is just your money and they hope that they will just keep on spending which I don't like so yeah that has been kinda a long rant and I'm sure that many of you will have different feelings about what I have just said in this video but it's fine everyone is free to have their own opinions and once again guys this is all I had to say for this video thank you so much for watching and remember if you like the video to leave a like I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time and like I said hopefully this game will improve over the time because right now let me tell you it doesn't look too good for the future of this game as, as far as the future goes it just doesn't look good anyway I will see you guys next time and thank you so much for watching once, once more. See you guys in the next video.